New tonight, the wife of a Syracuse legend is turning 100 years old. Tonight, family, friends, and SU alumni came out to celebrate her life. New tonight, Chris McGrath takes a stroll down memory lane with Reggie Schwartzwalder. Reggie Schwartzwalder is getting an early start to her 100th birthday. Well, it's pretty exciting, I can tell you that. She won't hit triple digits until Wednesday, but friends and family are in town celebrating the milestone tonight at Drumlin's Country Club in Syracuse. It's amazing. I mean, I've never been to a 100th birthday before, uh, especially because she's my great grandma. It really makes it special. Today's like a really awesome day. I can't believe that I'm not someone's 100th birthday party. Reggie was married to legendary SU football coach Ben Schwartzwalder for nearly 60 years. Both were profiled in the 2008 movie The Express, based on the story of legendary player Ernie Davis. For those who played under coach Schwartzwalder, they say Reggie became a mother type figure to players on the Hill. In fact, Reggie in 1959 helped our future brides of Bob Yates and I when we got married at the Cotton Bowl and Reggie was the uh, force behind the, all the arrangements. Reggie has certainly seen her fair share of past SU football from the days of Jim Brown. And the number one team on the nation's pigskin hit parade, Syracuse. Meeting to the national championship team with Ernie Davis in 1959. And she still keeps tabs on the current Orange football team going to most home games, which are now played in the Carrier Dome. Back when Coach Schwartzwalder roamed the sidelines, games were played outside at Archbone Stadium. Oh, I think it's great. That was wonderful that they could fit football in there. I didn't think they could do it. Now, Reggie says she doesn't have any secrets to living such a long, infulfilling life, but says she does stay active, taking an exercise class every morning. Lisa. Chris, thanks so much. What a great story and happy birthday to her. It is